Today we are going to talk about how to prepare your house for sale. Um, you might be flipping the house and you want a quick sale or selling your own house and you want to make quick changes to make more profit. This is the video for you. If you're a serial uh, real estate investor, then you might keep your emotions aside. But majority of us buy um, because of our emotions. So just remember the property you own at the moment or the one you're renting at the moment. Why did you rent it or why did you buy it? You must have felt something. For example, it might remind you a holiday house you went when you're a child or you might like the trendy colors in the house, a clean driveway. So emotions make you buy house, not the house. When people decide buying a house, they start looking at domain.com, realestate.com and majority of the highlighted properties uh, in these websites are the ones professionally styled. So those styled ones will set the tone for the rest of the properties. We start looking at um, trendy things and get used to the colors and the style and we will seek for those things when we are looking at a property. So I wouldn't suggest this for your own property, um, but if you're uh, going to sell your house, I definitely suggest use trendy colors, trendy furniture, um, so you know, buyers will love it. People buy with emotions. Another important thing is they don't buy a house, they buy a lifestyle or a dream basically, uh, for their family, for themselves. So if you would like to sell, you have to promise that dream and you have to promise that lifestyle. It's really important to know the suburb profile and you have to bring that profile inside your property. Uh, so you have to know what your buyers would want. Knowing the suburb profile is also going to help you to decide on your cosmetic renovations for quick flip. Um, and you have to think about, um, for example, what young couples want, what you know, um, people, families want, people with young kids, teenager kids would want, um, their income level. All of these are going to make huge difference on the cosmetic renovations you're going to make. Also, selling a house in Newtown is very much different from selling a house in Lower North Shore. Think about how you can bring that local in. Start the cosmetic renovations with profit in your mind. Real estates will tell you how much they can sell the property for. Think about the bottom price they give you. And sometimes you may not even have any budget for even cosmetic renovations. So if you, your house has the potential, then make sure you spend that money to get that extra amount. But if it doesn't, you don't even have to do cosmetic renovations. There's something more important than the furniture or styling your house. Make sure you don't leave anything not working. So if you know a buyer just turned the light on and it doesn't work, they will hate it. Or when they see a toilet after cleaning, it still doesn't look very clean, they will hate it, doesn't matter what. So make sure you fix all of those possible, you know, yuckiness. Decluttering your house is going to increase the value of your house immediately and you're going to make better impact on people. So you can add some shelves maybe, um, and use some of the, you know, unvisible places for storage, hide the things inside. But my suggestion is definitely hire a storage. It doesn't have to be a big one and just empty 50% of your um, furniture and things that make clutters. When people open, their ca open the cabinets, they should see all clean and nicely organized things. Uh, or even for your clothes, you know, just get rid of half of it. Um, that's definitely going to make huge impact. 
Paint is your best friend for cosmetic renovations. And nowadays, you don't have to only paint your walls. There are paints for tiles, driveways, uh, bench tops, and all of these are going to make huge impact on your sale uh, because there's nothing better than a freshly painted house. It looks clean and nice, fresh, crisp, so that's your best friend. Clean your house in and out, clean everything. And if you'd, you know, if you're willing to scrub a little bit, you won't believe how much money you can save. Um, Bunnings actually suggested me to use a product called Omph or Dissolve It, and they remove everything. And that was my best friend during um, any renovation I make. And um, you just also think about the out outdoors and do not leave any clutter outside, you know, anything, you know, that creates visual pollution because your buyers will come at different times and I guarantee you they will come and visit your house during nighttime too. Home staging is a must and it doesn't have to be very expensive. Um, what you need is trendy and lucky you trendy is cheaper so you can just go and visit Kmart a couple of times buy a couple of trendy furniture to fill some of the key spaces um, but I personally prefer pre-loved uh, furniture because then I can use them for the next house uh, I can make like I can paint it or maybe just change the you know fabric and then it's going to look perfect and look uh, not trendy but definitely good quality so when you're selling the house you don't have to worry about quality of the furniture you use just choose the trendy ones also do not forget to add some things that locals will like uh, when you're staging it can be for example a um, book about the suburb and they will love seeing that if you're selling the house when tenants are still inside or you're renting it out, then I suggest you not to sell it <laughs> because um, some people just come to an agreement with the tenants and I tried this, it's nothing like staging the house. My tenant was an artist and they had this beautiful art on all of the walls. I thought, ah, oh, this house is gonna sell immediately. But they were so scared during the open days and they removed all of the um, art pieces, put it in the storage. Basically, the house was in the market for a long time. We couldn't get the price we deserve and then it was off the market again. Two years later, I asked the um, tenants to get out and um, we went there, staged it, and then it went over 20% over the price we expected. Here is a hint for you when you're styling, when you're staging your house. Um, think about, of course, as usual, fresh flowers, uh, coffee for early morning inspection and afternoon something baked in the house so it's going to smell really nice but when you're styling the main thing is guiding the eyes to where you want them to look at so you should just strategically style the property and say okay look at here and don't look at there and oh look there's something interesting here so guys you know your their eyes will just follow all of the staging things you inserted strategically so we will continue how to renovate series and how to style. We are going to talk about how to style an Airbnb next time, how to choose the furniture um, for short-term properties. Um, don't forget to subscribe to help the channel. Thank you so much. See you next time.